Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com, and today I'll be taking a look at the Olo Clip for the iPhone 5. This $70 iPhone 5 camera accessory gives you three new lenses to use when taking photos and recording videos when using your iPhone 5's rear-facing camera. So this gives you a fisheye lens, a macro lens, as well as a wide-angle lens. If you have an iPhone 4 or 4S, you can also get the Olo Clip for that device, which is also priced at $70. And if you happen to have an iPod Touch 4th generation, Olo Clip makes a little adapter that you can put onto the 4th gen iPod Touch that allows you to use the 4 4S version of the Olo Clip. Here's a quick look at the packaging. Now on the front of the box, you can see that the photo behind this area is actually using the fisheye lens. On the back of the box, we do get some sample images of the fisheye, macro, and wide angle lenses. And included in the packaging is a microfiber bag, so you could use this to store your Olo Clip and its lens caps. And you could also use this to clean the lenses, because this is a microfiber bag, so if you get any fingerprints on your Olo Clip's lenses, you could use this to wipe those off. And you do get a couple of lens caps, and of course you do get the Olo Clip and its wide angle lens attachment. So now let's take a closer look at the Olo Clip itself. So here it is. Your iPhone 5's top right corner will slide into this area and it will line up perfectly with the rear facing camera on your iPhone 5. So this large lens here, both lenses are made out of metal by the way, this large lens here is the fisheye lens. This lens here is the wide angle lens, so this allows you to take extra wide photos. Now if we unscrew the wide angle lens, you can actually expose the macro lens. So this one allows you to take very up close shots of different objects from as far as one inch away. So you could get extra crisp and very close shots of various objects. So let me just screw this one back on. Now one thing that I will say is that when I was out and about taking photos with the Olo Clip, I found that when I was taking off the wide angle lens that I would somehow drop it onto the ground. So they, they aren't really grippy. They're just made to screw into place. It would have been nice if they coated the edge here with maybe some sort of soft touch coating to give it a little bit of extra grip because I did drop this onto the ground a couple of times. But it's pretty much my fault anyway. It's a small object, so I should have been paying a little bit more attention. But this screws onto the Olo Clips base itself very easily like that, and it stays into place. So let me take my iPhone 5 and install the Olo Clip. So it just slides onto the corner of the phone like so, and the lens lines up perfectly with the camera on your iPhone 5. It does block half of the flash, and it does block the rear-facing camera. You are able to use this with videos without any issues. However, when it comes to the audio, it will go ahead and bring the audio levels down quite a bit because this is blocking the main cam or the, the main microphone that the iPhone uses when recording videos. It also blocks your power button, so if your phone happens to turn off, you could just use the home button. Or if you have your iPhone on and you'd like to turn it off, you have to take off the Olo Clip first. So let's go ahead and clear these messages so I could go ahead and get to the camera application. So let me go ahead and put the Olo Clip back on. So right now the wide angle lens is installed, and this is the one that gives you wide angles of view. So this shows more than without the Olo Clip at all. Let me switch over to the fisheye lens and you can see that it even shows even more like this. So it shows a lot more of the rear of my desk and my MacBook Air. And to get the macro lens, which is the one that gets very up close to objects, you just have to unscrew the wide angle lens, put that back onto your iPhone 5, and you can start taking photos. So for example, if I wanted to take a photo of the one of the lens caps, just have to put that down and get close to the object that you'd like to take a photo of and snap your photo. Like I said, this does work with videos. I'm going to show you a couple of sample videos right now.
Come on, go through so they can come through. Let's press on. And now that the videos are done, let me go ahead and show you a huge gallery of photos that I've taken with the Olo Clip on my iPhone 5. Overall, the Olo Clip for the iPhone 5 works very well. It sits perfectly onto the iPhone 5 itself and the different types of photos that you could create with the Olo Clip itself. It's just really amazing how far you can take photography just from your smartphone that you carry with you everywhere. The price itself is a bit high at $70. I think that a product like this would have been more appropriately priced at about $40. However, if you do pick this up, you will be very impressed with the results. It, it makes you want to take photos with your iPhone. So if you really want to take your photo taking abilities on your smartphone to the next level, this is definitely the product that you must get. That's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.